All righty. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Circle Time. Um, as always, we're going to hang out for just a second or two um, to give everybody a chance to log in. But good morning. How is everybody today? The sun is shining today. The birds are out singing. It's actually a really pretty day today. I hope everybody gets a chance to go outside. Maybe you were outside this weekend. It was so nice this weekend. Miss Emily spent some time outside this weekend. I planted my vegetable garden. So I planted some peppers and some tomatoes. And what else did I plant? I have some spinach growing. So we'll see. We'll see how my garden goes this year. But it was a great weekend to be outside. Hello, Thayer. How are you? I'm so glad you're here today. Um, that's a reminder. I can see the comments while we're going. So if you want to say hi, drop me a line. Tell me something about the book. Tell me something that you did. Tell me anything. I would love to talk to you guys. So like I said, we'll just wait a second or two just to give everybody a chance to get here. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds after you get the notification that we're live. But good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Corey. How are you? Thank you for coming and playing with me today. I'm so glad you guys are here. So hanging out for just another second or two. Um, I think we have some fun stuff today. You guys know the deal. We're going to do some books. We're going to do some songs with some um, hand motions. And then I'm going to show you a neat craft that you can do with stuff around the house. Okay. So just waiting for a couple more people just to have the chance to get here. Um, and then we'll get going. So good morning, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine today. It's such a pretty day. Like I said, the birds are all singing. I think I have birds building a nest in the bush right outside of my my living room window. I saw a bird this morning hopping up the bush and he had a little twig in his mouth. So they may be building a nest. So I'm going to have to watch and see if I can find the nest and then see if I can tell if they've laid eggs. You know, I don't want to get too close to the nest and I don't want to scare them away. But it would be fun to see if if I have little baby birds in my bush right outside my window. So good morning, everybody. Gonna hang out for just one more second. Make sure everybody's here. Oh, excuse me. My mouth gets so dry from doing all of this talking and singing, but I love doing it for you guys, so. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started so I kind of have a, a fishy theme today. Um, so why don't we start off with a book? And the book I want to start off with today is I'm a Shark. Have you guys read this one before? I like this one. So this is I'm a Shark by Bob Shea. All right. The shark says, I'm a shark. Aren't I awesome? What do you think? Are sharks awesome? He looks pretty awesome with that giant smile. Oh my goodness. When I get a shot, I don't even cry. What a brave shark. I can watch scary movies without closing my eyes. Oh, that's pretty brave. And what kind of scary movie is he watching? <gasps> Somebody fishing. Oh, that might be a scary movie to some fish. If there were a dinosaur here and he saw me, do you know what he would be? What do you think the dinosaur would be if he saw a shark? Shark says, he would be scared. <gasps> he does look a little scared. Crab up at the top here says, what about a creepy spider or a scary squid? Shark says, creepy spider, yuck, yuck, is it on me? Ew, 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 ew. Fishy says, no, there's not really a spider. Phew, are you sure? The squid isn't a spider dressed as a squid, is it? That's how they get you. Nope, the squid is a squid. A, a scary squid that's not really a creepy spider? Bring him on. He'd say, I'm going to get you. And then I'd say, good luck, you'll need it. Then he'd say, 
Oh no, I didn't see you were a really awesome shark. I'm totally scared. Do you think you'd be like shaking? He'd be so scared. The shark says, then he'd ink himself in front of everybody. So embarrassing. What do you think? Do you think a giant squid would be scared of the shark? What about the dark? Everyone is afraid of the dark. Is there a big creepy spider? No. A lot of little creepy spiders? No, just a lot of dark. No problem. Close your eyes. Pretty dark, right? Oh my goodness, a totally awesome shark! Where? Where? You're looking at him. I'm not afraid of the dark. The dark is afraid of me. The dark heard I was coming and ran. What do you think? Do you think the dark would be afraid of the shark? I don't know. Okay, tough guy. How about a big mean bear? I bet you're afraid of a big mean bear. Shark says, is the big mean bear holding a creepy spider? No. Is it near a creepy spider? No. Thinking about a creepy spider? No. Reading a book about a creepy spider? No. Nope. Just you and the big mean bear. A big mean spiderless bear? Don't make me laugh. He'd say, grr. And I'd say, grr. Try rows and rows of razor sharp teeth. How's that grab you, Mr. Bear? He wouldn't answer. He'd be too busy fainting, hiding, fleeing, or crying. Well, I guess everyone is scared of something. I'm not, the crab says. What about spiders? What do you think? Do you think this shark is afraid of spiders? Spiders? Who, who said I was afraid of spiders? If I saw a spider, I would swim away as fast as my fins would take me. That's not scared. That's smart. I don't know. Do you think he's afraid of spiders? He says, why? What are you guys afraid of? The fishy and the crab says, sharks. Shark says, sharks? That's silly. What do you think? Do you think they should be afraid of this shark? The end. Maybe not that shark. What kind of things are you guys afraid of? Everybody, it's okay to be afraid of things sometimes. Um, when Miss Emily was little, she didn't like the dark much either. Um, but now that I'm older and I know that there's nothing in the dark that can get me, I'm not as scared. So. I hope you thought that one was fun. So let's do a fun shark song. And I'm sure you guys know how the wheels on the bus go. So this song is sung just like the wheels on the bus, but it's all about sea creatures, okay? So first we're gonna start off with a shark. And we go, the sharks in the sea go chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 the sharks in the sea go chomp, 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 all day long. The lobsters in the sea go pinch, 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 pinch. The lobsters in the sea go pinch, 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 all day long. Can you make a fish? The fish in the sea go swim, 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 swim. Swim, 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 the fish in the sea go swim, 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 all day long. The clams in the sea go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams in the sea go open and shut, all day long. The octopus in the sea goes wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 the octopus in the sea goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all day long. The seahorse in the sea rocks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The octopus, I'm sorry, the seahorse in the sea goes back and forth all day long. 
And let's do the shark again. The sharks in the sea go chomp, 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 chomp. The sharks in the sea go chomp, chomp, chomp all day long. Oh, that's a fun one. I like that one a lot. I like the lobsters with their pinchers. <laughs> all right. So why don't we go ahead and yeah, let's do our other book. So this is a fun book called Something's Fishy. And then look at all those creatures on there. Looks like a fun one. Let's see. So this is Something's Fishy by Jean Goronis. Right, we start off with the little penguin. Who's fishing? The rabbit comes up and says, what are you doing? The penguin says, shh. Are you fishing? What do you think? Is he fishing? Who's that guy? That's a walrus. While the walrus comes up and says, hey, what's going on here? Bunny says, I think he's fishing. Are the fish biting? I don't think so. Does it look like there's any fish yet? No. Nope. <gasps> Who's this guy? Is that a seal? Seal says, hey, are you fishing? Penguin says, shh. Everybody else is still watching. Are any fish biting? No. I don't understand why. <gasps> Who's this guy? Uh, I think that's a moose. Look at his great big um, antlers. Moose says, is she fishing? Everybody says, yes! So why aren't the fish biting? We don't know. I'm baffled. And look, here comes a person. Oh, fishing. Have you caught anything? All the animals say, no. Person says, why not? The animals say, we don't know. Rabbit says, I'm perplexed. Oh, who's that guy? It's a polar bear. The polar bear says, what's happening over here? Everybody says, we're fishing. Bunny says, but the fish aren't biting. Polar bear says, well, what did you put on the hook? Penguin says, some cake. Cake? Who wouldn't want a bite of cake? I'm flummoxed. What do you think? Do you think cake is a good thing to fish with? I don't know. Oh my goodness. And look at this guy. I'm not sure quite sure who he is, but he's a big dude. He says, hey, are you guys having a party? Polar bear says, no, we're fishing. Walrus says, there's cake on the hook. And seal says, but the fish aren't biting. Something's fishy. What do you think? Why aren't the fish biting? <gasps> Penguin says, shh, I hear something. Surprise! Oh my goodness, what are the fish doing with the cake? They're having a surprise party for this fish over here. It must be his birthday. Oh my goodness, how silly. And then the next thing the penguin hears is, more cake, please. Well, that didn't work, did it? They're having a party with the cake instead of getting fished. Oh my goodness, silly, silly fishies. I guess that's one way to outsmart the fishermen. So let's do one more little rhyme. Um, does everybody have their little fishies again? So this is going to be a fish one. So we're going to do, I'm a little fish. Watch me go. I swim fast. Can you swim fast? And I swim slow. When the sharks come out, can you guys make a shark? I got to squinch down. When the sharks come out, I dare not play. I dive down deep and swim away. Oh my goodness. You guys want to do that again? Because that's a short one. So I'm a little fish, watch me go. I swim fast and I swim slow. When the sharks come out, I dare not play. I dive down deep and swim away. Oh, that one's fun. Okay, so are you guys ready to do a fun little fishy craft today? Um, let me just move my chair over and then I'm gonna bring my camera down so you guys can see. There we go, all right. So how would you guys like to make up? Oh, there we go. 
some little fishies today. So I made this little fishy beforehand so I could show you guys what it might look like. So to make this craft, what you're going to need is, this is actually a toilet paper tube. You guys can kind of see in there. It's a toilet paper tube. I bet you guys have a bunch of them around the house. You'll need one toilet paper tube. You're going to need some, whoops, there we are, some glue, a couple of markers. Um, these were the colors I was using. Maybe a pencil if you need it and some scissors. Uh, you want to always have your grown-ups help with the scissors. And then I'm going to have this piece of paper to work on so I don't make a mess. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your toilet paper tube, and usually it's round like this, right? So the first thing you want to do is put it down and you want to kind of make it flat. So once you have it all flat, you're going to take either a pencil or a marker, and you need to cut out the fishy shape. So we're gonna cut out some, a piece to make the head and then we're gonna cut out two pieces to make the tail. So I'm just gonna draw it. So we're just gonna do a little, like an arc there and a little arc there. And then I'm gonna do kind of like a V there. Can you guys see that? I did like a V and I'm gonna do another V. All right, so what do you think? Does that shape kind of look like a fish already? Hopefully. All right. And one thing I forgot to mention, um, if you guys want, I colored this tube in with my markers. You guys could color it in with crayons. If you have some paint at home and your grown-ups say it's okay and will help you get the paint out, you could paint your tube first, uh, whatever you want to do. But I just had some markers around, so I did it with some markers. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need your scissors now. So now we're gonna cut on the lines that we made, okay? And you're gonna cut all the way through. So you may need your grown-ups help for this. It might be a little hard to cut, but you're gonna cut both sides. Oh, there we go. We're gonna cut both sides, okay? So be very careful because it can be hard to cut. We're gonna cut the other side. Make sure you guys can see me. All right. I don't know. I think it's starting to look like a fish already. All right. So now I'm going to cut out these little shapes in here. So I'm going to come in that way. And then I'm going to come in that way. And let's see. Did I get it? Yep. Oh, I got it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Come in that way. And come in that way. There we go. Oops. One more little cut. There we go. All right. So what do you think? Does that look like a little fish now? So now it's up to you guys how you want to decorate your fish. So when I made my fish here with polka dots, first I colored the tube and then I cut out some blue construction paper to make blue dots. And then I took my marker and I added his smiley face and his fin and his tail. Um, and I cut out some white paper to make his eyeballs. This guy I'm going to make a little bit different, I think. Um, I, let's see, first we're going to do some, no, actually before I do eyeballs, I cut out some paper ahead of time so that I could, this fish is going to have stripes. So I made some stripes. So let's see, I'm going to need some glue. And this is why I have the paper here so I can help, so I can glue on the paper and not on my table. It'd be really bad if my table was all sticky. So I'm going to put one stripe on. And if you want, you guys can decorate both sides. Today, I'm only going to decorate one side. Oops, it's stuck to me. Oh, no. All right. We're going to do another stripe. And you guys can do any kind of shapes you want. I did polka dots, and now I'm doing stripes. You guys could do stars. You could do... Um, could do anything you wanted um if you had like glitter you and your grown-ups say it's okay you can add glitter to your fish if you have some cool buttons you want to stick on your fish you could do that um let's see we're gonna put some more glue on the last stripe and we're gonna put the last stripe on there we go so yeah you guys can look around your house and with your grown-ups help 
you can find some things around your house that you can put on your fish to make it a really cool fish. Like I said, I saw some fish with glitter. I saw some fish with buttons. I saw some fish with like sparkly things. Um, if you guys have googly eyes at home, you can totally put googly eyes on your fish. Miss Emily does not have googly eyes at her house, so I'll show you how I made my, my eyes. Oops, a little bit too much glue. All right, and then I made a piece like this um, to fit right on the tail, so it looks like he's got a tail. So I just kind of cut out little triangles to make it look like his, his tail fin. And if you need to, you can take your scissors, that one's a little big, and cut it off. So you guys can have fun. What I actually did to cut the stripes out, if you guys want to do that, is I took a square of paper. Let's see, do I have one here? I do. So to do the stripes, all I did was I took my fish and I laid them down. And this is where my pencil helped. Oops, let me back up. There we go. So on the on the square piece of paper that I want the, the stripes to be, I traced my fish. So I gave a good trace. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to know about how big the fishy is. So now I have the fishy on there. Oops, that's okay. So then I quick cut it out. Let's quick cut this out so you can see what I did. And like I said, if you guys are doing paint, um, once you cut the fishy thing out, you can the fishy shape out. You can always paint some cool designs on your fish. Whatever you like to do. That's the nice thing about doing crafts. You can make it look however you want. So I'm just gonna do like that and click do that. So now I kind of have the fishy shape after I cut that piece out. So all I did was like, okay, so for this, oops, there he is. So for this stripe, I just kind of cut here and I kind of made it arch. There we go. And then I cut kind of close again. So you might need your grown-ups help with this, but this is good practice with your scissors. So see, now I have a stripe that I could glue on my fish, okay? And you could do whatever you wanted. Like I said, this one I did polka dots. I cut little circles out for my fish. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do for our fish is he needs some eyeballs. He can't see where he's going. So I went ahead and I drew some circles on a white piece of paper. And again, if you guys are doing paint, you can paint the eyeballs on. If you have googly eyes at home, totally put some googly eyes on your fish. That would be so fun. Fish kind of look like they have googly eyes sometimes, don't they? All right, so we're gonna cut one eyeball out. There's one. And I'm gonna very carefully cut the other one out. Make sure you have your grown-ups help to use your scissors. And just be very careful because you only wanna cut the paper. You don't wanna cut yourself. That would be really painful. You might need a Band-Aid. Okay, so now I have two fishy eyes. Oops, there's what I need. All right, so now I'm gonna take my marker or actually, let's take this marker. I wanna take this marker too. So I'm gonna give him some colorful eyes. So I'm gonna draw some black first. Oops, can you guys see that? There we go. I'm gonna draw some black first. And some black again. And then I'm gonna take, whoopsie. I wanna take my blue, and I wanna give him some blue eyes since he's a blue fish. What do you think? How does that look? blue eyes for the fish and I'm just gonna do like that and like that okay and you can do the eyes however you want to do them whatever you like um, I like doing them this way so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them over and I need my glue again and because these are so tiny sometimes it's helpful to just stick it right on the end of the glue and wipe it off if you're using a glue stick. And then, now it's stuck to my finger. So now, all I'm gonna do is come to my fishy and see where I want the eyeball. And I'm gonna stick it on. How cute is that? So if you guys are doing stripes or whatever, you can totally decorate both sides of your fish. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, whoopsie. 
and stick the other eyeball on while we're here. I didn't make, I didn't cut out enough stripes for his other side. Um, I'm going to glue his other eyeball on. Let's see. You can kind of go back and forth to make sure that the, the eyeballs are lined up if you want. Or if you want them to have crazy eyeballs, you can totally have crazy eyeballs. But, um, yeah. So, like, here's a stripe. That stripe that I showed you guys how to cut out. So, if we wanted, you can only have, you can have one stripe on this side. Oopsie. Give it a good smoosh. Get all that glue in there. So, there's our fishy. So, now... Once, all, once he's all dry, if you want, like I, I gave him his things here, but fishies usually have fins, right? So you could either paint it, you could do it with some paper, you could cut a fin out. I'm just going to draw one. I think he, he would have a fin that looked like that. What do you think? Does that look like a fin? And I think this guy is a really happy fish. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him... A big fishy smile. What do you think? Color that in a little bit so it looks like his mouth. And you can give him any kind of fish you want. You can make a shark and give him a big mean, um, a big mean mouth with lots of teeth. Is that about right? Uh, yep, that's good. Awesome. I like to line it up on both sides. You guys don't have to. You can make it look however you want to make it look. Because you know what? I don't think any two fish really are exactly the same, right? So, there we go. We have some fun little fishies. What do you think? Do you think he looks like a really happy fish? I think so. So, I think my two little fishy guys will be friends. What do you think? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy today. Uh, make sure you clean up your mess when you're all done. And I thank you guys. Let's turn my camera back up here for a second. There we go. Here I am. Peekaboo. All right. So I hope you guys had fun today. Um, let me know if you tried some fishy crafts. You can always post them in the comments later on. I would love to see all of your little fishies. Whoa. My fishy is swimming away. But fishies can always come and swim in the sea. And he, he was swimming away. So show me your fishies. I love to see how creative you guys get. Okay. All right. So thank you guys so much for coming and playing with me today. I hope you had fun with all of our fishy and under the sea uh, stories and songs. So I will see you guys all again next week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.